Hey guys, Mystic Being here. Today's video is going to be discussing five tips on how to make your game room in AoE 2 stand out and make people want to join it instead of others. Most of these tips are psychological and make your room appeal more. This video stems from the frustration of joining the lobby and not having much options on the games to choose. You'll be spending around 45 minutes to an hour in a game and you don't want to be spending a quarter of that to half looking for it. Tip number one. Probably the most influential decision when choosing a room is its title. Seriously, it's the first thing that's seen when joining the lobby, and if it isn't good, it will be overlooked. But what's so important about the title is it tells us, the viewer, player, immediately what the settings and play style are going to be. I don't even consider rooms with names like Go 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 Fast Game, or Come to Have a Good Time, or anything along those lines. It leaves us only guessing at the settings. Even titles that are like 4v4, which seems normal, doesn't give the whole picture. So the first tip is that you will generally want a name that states the map, the number of players, desired ranking, and any of the desired settings. This I found best because given human nature, we want something that is appealing, gives information, but in the shortest amount of time possible. As an example, try your titles along the line of Arabia 2v2, 1600 to 1700 ELO, with all those words being interchangeable with other settings. Writing in caps is a useful option. Tip number two is, as stated before, players want to get into a game as soon as possible. And the decision is sometimes based on the amount of players in a room already. Realistically, if I were, or anyone, were to choose between two game rooms, both with the same settings and titles, but with one having one or two more players, I would definitely go with a more filled room. So tip number two is to grab a friend or invite someone to your game to make it look more appealing and more full. Tip number three is, now this video is about how to get people to join your room, but the thing is, if people leave, players leave, after 30 seconds, or a minute, then you're back to square one. If they leave, it could be for a number of reasons. Make sure that what the title says is true to the settings, especially on Steam, where you join right into the game. Also try to keep people in by starting a conversation, even a quick hi never hurts, or hello, plus it makes them feel more welcome. Lastly, don't spam text or audio messages, as that usually leads to people leaving. I know it does for me. Also, don't be afraid to kick anyone who does that, because it is your room. Tip number four, this point is quick, but very important. If you want people to join and stay, there are some interesting, interesting quotations on the interesting setting combos you can make in AoE 2, and some are quite weird. Try to stay with the standard settings. Though this is not to say you can't do a ludicrous 2v2, slow speed, high resources, 500 pop, all visible and starting in Castle Age on the map Hamburger. Just don't expect many people to join or stay. Those are quite weird settings. Of course these settings are a bit extreme, but the point is made, hopefully. The most favorable is Arabia or Black Forest with any amount of players at normal speed. Of course there are more, but these are just general. Of course settings change with level of play and experience, but try to keep with those standard settings and you'll find that the room is filling up before your eyes. Tip 5 is lastly, and I've stated this before, know who you want to be attracting to the game room. Generally through my experience, what I saw is that lower ranked players, newer players, usually pick unranked games so that they will get some practice and experience. This is more talking about new players to the game, not low ELO. And doing this will prevent them from losing ELO and getting kicked out of regular games. Also, people who want a more relaxed, less intense game will go for unranked. I know when I get back from big hike or whatever, I just want to chill, play some age, I'll just play on unranked. The opposite can be said with higher ranked players who have more experience, who want to increase their ranking and have a more competitive game. This is just generalized, but most of the time more people will join if the game is ranked. I know I've been told to make the game ranked sometimes, even though I wanted a more relaxed game. Those are just five ways that I find to work well in getting people to choose my game quickly. If you have any tips, please let me know in the comments down below, as I know that you guys have your own tricks. Also check out my other channel, Reconsider This, AoE2, for more content. I just uploaded a video as I am doing this recording. Thank you guys for watching, and see you all next time. Peace out.